my goodness, it is Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. That is not the song, it's not how it goes, I have no clue. I just got home from work, it is 4.38. While I get settled in, let's go ahead and look at a few things that I was able to capture from this week. And one is a bread recipe that actually worked. Hello friends, you're probably wondering why I am up this late. Actually, you wouldn't be wondering that because you have no idea what time it is. It is 11 o'clock at night. I am doing laundry. <laughs> I came home. It was, I don't know. It was a fine day, but for some reason, whenever we have a Monday off, I have a really hard time settling into my week. So I kind of anticipated today feeling weird and my anticipation was right. I felt weird. So I came home and went straight to bed. Like I was in bed before six o'clock and now I'm up because I slept for five hours and I can't fall back to sleep. So I'm doing laundry at 11 o'clock. Also, I didn't do the laundry this weekend. So like it's time to pay the piper. Also, you can't see, and you will not judge, because you are good people. I'm not sorting my laundry today, and the lighting is terrible. It could not be any more unattractive. And you know what? It's time to be open and vulnerable. There is a basket of laundry here that has been clean for probably a week. It's not folded. It takes 50 minutes to wash it, 50 minutes to dry it, and seven to 10 days to fold it and put it away. So I'm gonna throw this back in the dryer and get it refreshed. And while that's going, I have started the book State of Terror and I'm going to read a little bit. Yep. That's where we're at today friends it is after midnight and do you want to know how much I love you we're going to bake bread <laughs> I'm serious but I have it all set up for you so this time I am following one of the recipes and not the um, baking mix from William Sonoma it's not made for a bread machine so we have one and a half cups of room temperature water three tablespoons of cubed butter in there and now i'm going to add one tablespoon of granulated sugar one and a half teaspoons of salt there was also <laughs> a little bit of cracked pepper in there it'll be all right and then I'm adding four cups of flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour. And then lastly, I'm adding one and a quarter teaspoons of active um, fast-rising yeast. I have it programmed at one for white bread, two pound loaf, and then a medium color. I'm gonna press start. And the first need should take place. I am home from work. This recipe worked. We actually had some for breakfast and it worked. It's a great recipe. So great, so great, so great. I'm super excited. I will leave the recipe link down below that I used. I'm in some comfortable clothes. Steven took Bubba's for a walk and my plan is to get on the Peloton bike and work out really quick. I ended up staying up all night last night. I baked the bread, all of those things. And now I need to try to get myself back on my sleep schedule. So like, that is my goal. I did get some bathroom deliveries and one is my fall fragrance and then a new product that I'm super excited to try. The first thing I picked up is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Fresh Day Serum. It's a vitamin C serum. It's gonna be part of my morning routine. I don't change up my skincare routine, I keep it the same, and I have very few breakouts. You mix this solution in with the powder, you shake it up, and then you put it into this easy peasy pump. 
really excited to start using this. I'm gonna shave tonight and start using it. And then I am trying a different seasonal fragrance this year. I actually ordered Replica's Fireplace. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little spray so I can see it. Usually for the fall and Christmas season, I wear Amber Narguil by Hermes, and I wanted to do something different. So I got Replica by the Fireplace. I really appreciate their packaging. I just think it's so beautiful, especially with like this fabric linen like label on it. I'm gonna spray my wrist and just see what I think. It's so good. It is so much smokier than I thought, yet it still has like a little hint of sweetness. It has some chestnut in it. Oh, the smoke really comes through. I love it. I think it's going to become my signature scent. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. All right, I am gonna get my workout clothes and just do a 20 or 30 minute ride just to get myself moving. And then I'm gonna shower and shave. I ordered some new phone cases. I think, I don't know how to really open this case. Um, one should be a Christmassy case and the other is more of a Halloween case. So my Christmas case is this little like snow globe amazingness. And then my Halloween case is this fun little number with like this magic ball and like an eye, like a lot of celestial symbols. So I'm super pumped about that for a little switch out and a change up. They're from Casetify, not sponsored. Just really good cases. How fun is that? It was a really, really, really good week. I'm sorry it's a little dark right now. I'm throwing a box in the recycling bin. But it was a really good week and we ended really well. We worked really hard. We enjoyed some time as a team. I also have just realized my husband's home, his car is here. I didn't even notice that when I pulled in. That is how a little tired I am. But, I mean, such is life. I didn't even notice. All right, I'm going to get a little settled in, think about dinner, and all the things. So I was supposed to make turkey burgers tonight for dinner, but Steven and I both decided that that was just simply <laughs> not in the cards. It's been a good week, but it's been a, those four day weeks really do you in. You could tell by my eyes I'm tired. Um, so we order Chinese. I'm gonna pour a glass of wine and that's just life right now. All right, friends, I am in my office just hanging out and definitely wanna get this video to you at some point, I just did some editing. I, I know it's not like the most interesting vlog or all of those things, however, the feedback has been really amazing. And that honestly, we just like to connect with each other over the most mundane, simplest of things. And I think that's the beauty of this channel. It's interesting to me, each of these videos have been getting almost 10,000 views and I go to channels that have triple or quadruple the subscriber number and we get as many views as they do and I think that's just a testament to this community that we've built and I think our little slice of the internet has become a really kind place. There have been comments about how you guys love to read the comment section just because it's kind and as a gay man who's gone through life not always feeling accepted or understood, it's kind of incredible that all of you who have such different backgrounds and different beliefs and different religions and political stances and all of that can somehow find a place here and it's something I'm really proud of. This week was National Coming Out Week, and I think I was really touched and moved to reflect on what some of you share with me, that your little kids 
watch this and your families watch it and your teenagers watch it and your 21 year old daughters watch it and you watch it and how it spans ages although I do not understand how any kid could ever watch bread baking at 4 a.m. but cheers to them and their future bread baking endeavors it's just really cool and I'm really honored and I'm coming out of a week that, although at moments really challenging, was beautiful. And this has been a huge part of it. And I'm just really happy. And I love that you guys can see how happy I am and how shifting priorities in my life has changed the way I go about it. I think... Yeah, I'm just really happy. And it's been a long time since I've been just truly happy. I've always been pretty content and very cognizant of my blessings. But the happiness was missing. And I think I have found it. And oddly enough, even though we're midway through Vlogtober already, I have found a great sense of peace and routine and inspiration and I am planning vlogmas in the midst of all of this. I think it's going to be really great. One question I keep getting asked is will there be an animated intro? I've been talking to the animator that I used out of California. We haven't been able to land on a storyline and in all honesty I need to finalize that in two weeks if that's where we're going to go but I might do something simpler this year but I haven't rolled it out. We'll see. I have so many plans for Vlogmas, and I'm so excited to share them with you. Last night, if you were missing it, and a reason you should follow me on Instagram is because we did an Adele listening party. Um, that was really exciting, and 200 of you joined, and we just had a blast, and we cried, and we loved the song together, and I just keep going back to this idea of, like, we've built this. It hasn't been me because none of this exists without you and it's really cool and I'm feeling really committed to it and really motivated and I owe that all to you. So I was going to do some Q&As, we'll save them for tomorrow um, and we'll end it like we end all of them friends. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, bye bye Oh, and if no one has told you today, you're doing a really great job, and I'm really proud of you. See you tomorrow, friends. Cheers.